this is a black and white sketch sketch number two of page 70 uh, we're gonna do a how-to video for materials uh, we're going to need uh, markers of course brush pen high-tech pens 0 0.25 0 0.3 0 0.4 black ink brush uh, number zero a really fine one uh, templates and a straight edge we start with very faint marker indication of the horizon line and proportions then we proceed with uh, a high-tech pen a very fine 0 0.25 point and we start defining uh, shapes and forms for the environment by the way uh, my visualization for this particular sketch was uh, a world a high-tech world in the future uh, based on uh, buildings located at the waterfall or uh, cascade somewhere in uh, <clears throat> in a jungle uh, environment Uh, when I do a, a sketch at the agents of any environments, I don't get too involved in any particular shape or form, or, I mean in definition of the shape and the environment. Keep everything flowing with very basic forms. You can always, uh, once you like a form, you can uh, develop it in a different sketch uh, of buildings or, or mechs. Uh, once we have uh, defined uh, the quick uh, shapes of the overall shapes of the environment uh, with the 0 0.25 uh, pen, we can now move to the uh, thicker line like a 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 uh, like I'm going to proceed right now at the top. For note on uh, high-tech pens and how to use them um, you can uh, change the line uh, on the high-tech pens uh, not only by changing pens but also with the pressure that you commit to them uh, that way you can uh, get thick and thin lines uh, even with the number three and that's very important learn to uh, to uh, get to know the tool Uh, now that I talk about tools, it is very important to get to know uh, the tools when it comes to pens, ellipses, triangles. Get to know them and, and the things that you can accomplish with them, like uh, like we see right now with the triangle, with the small triangle, is that you can manipulate the triangle really quick while you had it, uh, your right hand is drawing, uh, your left hand is positioning the, the triangle in a way uh, that you can do straight edges. And this simplifies the and makes simplifies and makes the drawing the sketch really quick because you cannot you don't have to move your uh, paper around to 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 draw a straight edge uh, by manipulating the triangle you can accomplish this now uh, we're going to take a thirty percent gray tone marker, I start defining uh, and building up the gradation on the environment, uh, uh, shadow areas, uh, darker tone, uh, environmental uh, vegetation and, and rocks. Now uh, we're going to move to a darker tone marker, maybe at 40%. Uh, and continue building up the tone uh, and doing it with the fine tip of the marker that way I can get uh, smaller details and definitions of rocks and vegetation okay we will continue building up the gray tone and the contrast uh, as you can see, 
we're starting to define darker areas and shadows and darker tones of vegetation and, and, and uh, of the environment. Now we're going to use a 50% gray and continue uh, increasing the contrast and really getting into details of uh, darker areas. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm building up the really deep shadows and crevices and areas where, where we'll find uh, a darker shadow and value of tone. Then we take a 0.5 high tech pen and start doing uh, detail, uh, detail contrast only, not line work, which is different, more like a shadow line, more like a contrast line, and details, uh, but not very defined, just lines and, and things, don't get into drawing, don't get into uh, uh, creating, uh, just create shapes and forms, this is a sketch, it's supposed to be loose, it's supposed to be quick, it's supposed to be spontaneous, so it's got to, it has to keep that look. Keep uh, building up the line work, uh, create forms, shapes, and, and small details. Then uh, take advantage of the different tone gradations on the marker that is left on the paper and, and uh, create shapes and forms of uh, faces of the rock. This is a close-up of this sketch. As you can see, I'm doing uh, now fine detail line work with my 4x uh, four millimeter high-tech pen. Um, as you can see, the different line uh, point details that I'm using, and now defining even more detail on the rocks. taking advantage of the different uh, gradation tones of the marker. Now uh, we're going to do accents but with a brush pen. Uh, the good thing about the brush paint is that you can uh, create a very spontaneous uh, look of line work because of, of the thick and thin uh, quality of, of this tool. So, but uh, don't get too crazy with the brush paint uh, in a situation, in a technique, and a sketch like this that is more ink and line. Keep don't overpower the, the um, sketch and the line with too much uh, brush pen. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to create a thick and thin line for a more uh, loose uh, quality and more of a artistic look.
use uh, the brush pen when you will know where the deep shadows and deep pockets of dark little crevices and, and little uh, dark details on the uh, of the uh, sketch make sure that you just uh, keep the details at a minimum and very tiny uh, in a case like this on this particular one I'm just doing the little tiny details of the uh, of the sketch don't overpower the uh, the dark areas you will, you will create holes and, and things that will, will not make sense so keep it small and clean now uh, we're going to do the final touch-ups of uh, darker tone with the 60-50-60 percent gray tone and uh, the, the last contrast and accents to uh, the sketch or uh, getting closer to a full valuation of tone on the uh, sketch then we will proceed with highlights after this now uh, we start the highlight the highlights uh, I use a brush uh, number zero fine detail number zero and I start uh, with wash in this case Dr. Martin's white out uh, bleed proof um, I like this particular wash because it dries uh, really opaque and you can uh, uh, do markers over it in case you you want to tone down the, the, the highlight um, I keep them really simple uh, almost little light bulbs in the distance and little accents of light uh, what you really will see at a distance you won't you won't be able to tell the uh, details or you know it's either a light bulb or a light or some kind of reflection in the metal or stuff like that so don't get too complicated with highlights just little dots and lines and, and reflections and stuff like that no details don't draw with the brush just highlights pure highlights uh, as you can see also uh, you see the details that I'm doing on the water and as you can see the water doesn't have any lines why is that is because we want to keep the white of the paper as part of the drawing uh, it's very important to do this because you minimize line work and uh, that's the true nature of water it's transparent and it's uh, translucent and uh, it doesn't contain any detail so that's why we leave it uh, with an absence of line and uh, with a little bit of tone and that's it and reflections here and there with the with the brush and the white I hope you enjoyed uh, the small demonstration here. Um, the drawing is about uh, total time. It took me like 20, 25 minutes. Um, yeah, it's, these are quick sketches. Um, these are good for my library of uh, environments on my sketchbook. So when I get an assignment or something that is related to this particular look or concept, all we have to do is go back and find it and uh, take it scan it and take it to Photoshop and do add pictures uh, photos uh, tweak them with color do do a tones whatever you want to do with them all right thank you I hope you enjoyed it thanks